Elon Musk. Do you love him or hate him? Up. Uh, what is it? On the fab? Oh, he's okay. He's okay? I know them. Don't mind him. What? He's all good. So so? Elon Musk, are you a fan? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? By opening the floodgates to unfettered free speech, Elon Musk has allowed hate to spread far and fast on Twitter. Elon Musk, when he took over Twitter, sent up the bat signal to every person who has felt unable to spread racism, misogyny, uh, homophobia, but also disinformation actors that Twitter's open for business. Now, Elon Musk deserves great credit for tackling the significant issue of child exploitation material on the site. He made that a top priority. In the past, Twitter has been guilty of refusing to take down pornographic images, including videos of underage victims, because apparently didn't find a violation of the company's policies. Elon Musk, do you love him or hate him? Uh, hate him. Why? The discourse in America is about to get way worse thanks to new Twitter CEO Elon Musk. <laughs> Seen here watching street urchins scramble for his discarded chicken bone. I hate him. Hate him. Oh, yeah, no. Can't stand Elon Musk. How about yourself? I agree. <laughs> Elon Musk. Do you love him or hate him? He a reptile or something for sure. Do you think he's a reptile? Why? Look, I know I sometimes say or post strange things, but that's just how my brain works. To anyone I've offended, I just want to say, I reinvented electric cars and I'm sending people to Mars in a rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think I was also going to be a chill, normal dude? <laughs> Love him or hate him, Elon Musk is a household name and makes headlines in the news daily. Today we're at Waterfront in Vancouver and we're going to ask the people walking by whether they love or hate Elon Musk and why. I'm Drea Humphrey and this is Rebel News. Well, I think it's very important for uh, there to be an inclusive arena for free speech uh, where all, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Um, Twitter has become kind of the de facto town square. Um, so uh, it, it, it's just really important that people have the, both the, uh, the reality and the perception uh, that they are able to speak freely within the bounds of the law. Do you love or hate Elon Musk? Uh, uh 50-50. 50-50? What's one reason that he's good and one reason he's bad? He's in a way to, um, he's good in that way. Uh, shit that he has not met Twitter. <laughs> the free speech? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I love what he's doing with Twitter right now and exposing the truth. Yeah, so you know about the files then, right? Um, I haven't followed it, but I've heard about it. All right, thank you. I don't know, he's obsessed with the progress to an extent where I believe he's trying to leave the rest of humanity behind. He just seems like a tool. <laughs> crappy. I think he did a lot and he's kind of gone downhill with the buying Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> yeah, his free speech fan stand? Don't know anything about it. Understand what is it about it, Twitter? Understand it to an extent, but monetization I think is always necessary. I think he does want to make like a, like a complete free speech zone, but the way he's running it is just a mess. Because, like, firing all those Twitter employees, um, Twitter employees, like, they're tech guys, right? They, they can leave that job and go and get another high-paying job like that. How come? Oh, because he's greedy. He's oh, greedy? greedy? Really? Oh, I haven't heard. That's a new one today. Why, yeah. why is he greedy? Um, just what he does, he shuts down. He owns Twitter, and then he shuts down Twitter, and then he sends all these people out for uh, on layoffs. So he's just not doing a good job. Greedy. He's a rich person who doesn't understand the working class. Why, why uh, thumbs down for Elon? I think, um, especially with the move to, uh, with Twitter and kind of the treatment of employees, it's very out of touch and 
I think that's just the tip of the iceberg for some of the, the kind of uh, behavior that he's shown, and whether it's on a public platform, um, just a lack of empathy for others. So, yeah, that's kind of... Did you know that some of those employees were involved in covering up things that could have affected the outturn of the election? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's released a lot of the sort of internal files about that that's happened on Twitter. Okay, where can we access them? On Twitter. Oh. <laughs> he's got threads or Rebel News. We've uh, reported it. I did not know that. He's released all that information on Twitter. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not on Twitter, so. Yeah, I did. They were, but they were like, they were both like Democrats and Republican Twitter, yeah. so. Yeah. And, but it's just, it is more left leaning just because just that's how that uh, industry is. Free speech is such a complicated thing for me. I mean, uh, like my baseline is, yeah, I'm, I'm very pro free speech, obviously. But, you know, then you get into gray area around hate speech and kind of encouraging wrong kinds of speech. I'm not the one to kind of be the arbitrator of any of that. Um, but I think, you know, w when you have a platform of that size, it's, it's so important to be conscious of your audience and understand kind of the impacts of your words. And um, I, I, th there feels like there's been a bit of a recklessness with, with some statements. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's was kind of where I was at. And yeah, a lot of stuff has gone down since he took over. According to him, he says the statistics show that hate speech is actually down. Does that surprise you? That does surprise me. Yeah, I mean, that's good news. That's great news. Yeah. It's quite opposite of the headlines you usually see. Well, it depends what is free speech. If his free speech invokes hate, uh, no, then it's not really free speech if it's hateful and it's like tearing down other communities. And so, according to him, the statistics show that hate speech has gone down since they've done the changes there at Twitter. <laughs> who, who did that study himself? Well, yeah. it's their records. Yeah, I don't really think hate speech is going down. I think it's increasing because people like Trump have given hateful people a platform to work with now. Whereas before, they, they could, like, they're not even hiding anymore. Kanye West is upping his bizarre anti-Semitic tirade, now praising Adolf Hitler and even posting images that surpass Elon Musk's apparent new tolerance for hate speech on his recently acquired Twitter. Bringing Trump and Kanye back into Twitter, um, I don't think they should have been the platform at the first place, but for the reasons that they give at the game. Trump, yeah, with because of all that happened in the United States, and Kanye, well, yeah, they should have been in Plumber and they should have been left out, but the way he brought them back is what doesn't sweat with me, you know? But do you think it's a little weird that Trump was banished from Twitter, but yet the leader of Iran is still up on there? I had no idea that the leader of Iran was on Twitter. Um, that's uh, horrific to hear. Um, I think it's more to do with, well, what is Twitter for? North America or the Middle East? Like, oh, that, that, is, that is something... Yeah, it is global, but I think they banned Trump because I think there's more influence on Twitter itself, whereas the president of Iran as horrific as what he's doing, killing all these protesters, I don't think people go to Twitter to see him. <laughs> like, they don't... Depends, I guess, on who wants to see him or not. So you think free speech for him, but not Trump? I say free speech for anybody. That's the purpose of free speech. But there's a limit to it. If you're going to increase violence, no, like, there should, there should be a, a, their action to be held accountable. Yeah, well... I think it's different if you compare Iran to the United States. There's clear political and cultural differences. I think the difference with Trump, of course, you know, most, most of it is just like the performance of everything. But I think there is a particular group of people that we know that he fought, that follow him and his rhetoric and take what he might say as just show into a really literal. And that happens in everything. But I think because of the social problems right now happening in the United States, it seems like it's causing a lot of divide. And it's like a really hot topic. So, you know, I'm more into the idea of let's mediate, let's be able to talk and have a conversation. But don't polarize because things are not just black and white. Yeah, he bought Twitter with the whole I'm going to do free speech. Yeah. What about he said his number one priority 
is to stop child sexual ex- exploitation on there. Did you know that? No. I didn't know that, but I think it's important. I think the way he's going about it may not be the best, but I mean, he's standing to something. Okay. Uh, I'm not familiar with that to speak on it, to be honest with you. Well, he said it. So yeah. what do you think of him I saying? Don't I don't really put any stock in what he says. Okay. So. All right. Go. Any stocks in Tesla? <laughs> Negatory. <laughs> I wasn't aware, but if he's doing that, I think, well, great. I mean, the least that you could expect is that if you are going to say, hey, I'm going to take this because I want to make it better, well, at least do something better. I haven't heard that. No, I haven't heard that either. And then Trump, he's allowed back. He's not back. But what do you think of him being allowed to go back? Yeah, I, same thing as the free speech. It's, it's you know, I'm, I'm pro free speech, but to, you know, we're, uh, the, 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 when it kind of, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I think overall free speech is, is definitely good. And so having pe- people having access to those platforms is um, generally more positive. Especially the president of the United States, yeah, yeah. right? For a private company to take down a president, whether you like his politics or not, like, that's kind of weird. Don't you think private company? I guess, I guess private company may be a little more different. They could. Yeah. yeah, I always think it's interesting that the leader of Iran never got banned (laughs) but then of america did so we are are kind of selective in that for sure Uh, anything else you want to add no i don't think so anything no thank you guys thanks have a good one bye a mix of opinions today but if your opinion is that free speech is a right that we should all have and be defended, consider helping support us and our fight not to be cancelled by the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau. You can go to our website called stopthecensorship.ca. You can even chip in there to help fund our legal fight against it. Again, that is stopthecensorship.ca.